Hello, everyone. What is happening? Welcome to another One Man Doc Man podcast. I am, of course, your host, good old Dutz. Guys, we got some news today. We got some news today. <laughs> Tay Diggs. Yeah, I heard my man call me Tay Diggs yesterday. Yeah. Nigga, you like Tay Diggs? <laughs> I said, <laughs> okay. Um, what's up, y'all? Thanks for joining me. Like I said, we got some pretty good news to talk about. You know, it, it's positive. It's really positive. But, you know, of course, there's always something that people try to turn is super negative. But we'll talk about that in a few. Um, so, yeah, man, uh, <laughs> some great stuff to talk about. Of course, we're going to talk about Hellblade 2. Those previews that dropped today, wasn't it literally yesterday people was talking about, Wait, are y'all going to market it? Why are they not marketing Hellblade 2? The game comes out in a month. The next day, shut up. Please shut up. <laughs> For real, man. All these guys do is cry and complain. <clears throat> Um, hey, listen, I don't know who these DJD. Hey, watch yourself, bruh. I don't know what you're even talking about. Uh, well, anyway, guys, thank you very much. Uh, like I said, we're gonna talk about some, some Hellblade 2. We're gonna talk about 30 FPS. Um, you know, I think all of us would prefer the game to be 30, I mean, to be 60 FPS, possibly. Maybe some people don't want it to be 60 FPS. Shit, my camera was in 10 FPS right there. Did y'all see that? But, you know, let's be real. Let's be real. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Dragon's Dogma was not getting that same energy. It wasn't. Let's be real. All we heard was positivity about that game. All we heard was positive things about that game. Let's Okay, but no, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. Um, Gear 6. You know, Jason, um, not Jason, Jeff Grubb and some old people said Gear 6 is being shown this year. But a couple of guys in the community, um, the insiders said, yo, Gear 6 is going to be that game. How Gears of War 1 made the Xbox 360 that console to get, they're saying Gears of War 6 is going to be that game. So we'll definitely talk about that. Um, you know, and you know, talk, you know, like kick it with you guys in the chat. Y'all ask questions, y'all super chat, y'all talk shit. We always get different topics from that. And that's about it, guys. With that being said, let me get these couple of supers I have. Adidas 20 zero with the 10. He says, Dut Griggity, no doubt. I am here. The homie Adidas supports. Thank you so much, my brother. I appreciate you. Spoony love all the way from Japan. <laughs> Member for seven months, Lamar Odom. Why, <laughs> why we get the best looking game of the gen? And Pony Bots wants to complain about thirty FPS, aka gas. They people must be called out. Hashtag clout chasers. Man, that's, listen, that's their opinion, bro. Right, listen, we all different people. We all think the same. People can say, "Dirt, you got an echo chamber," and I say, "I know." Nigga say, Dirt, what are you doing? Why you ain't complaining about this? Because I don't give a, 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 a damn like you might. You know what I'm saying? We are different people, man. We are different people. So if he feels that way, let him feel that way. I can feel how I want to feel. You guys feel how you feel. We are different people at the end of the day, bro. And I don't look like no damn Lamar Odom. <laughs> Abdel, remember for eight months, del deleted Twitter today. Time for a break. Crying over 30 frames. Doom and Gloomers, Ponies, Pony Bots, Flip Floppers, Bias Medias, F all of you, TTS, and uh, Dirt and Bots. Thank you, Abdel. Yeah, man, I um, I was talking with somebody in the DM, and I'm like, man, you know, it never fails. The previews looked incredible. The game looked incredible. But soon after the positive previews, then it, you know, it comes out that the game is 30 FPS and all, all hell break loose. And I'm like... Damn, Dragon's Dog Moon was 30 FPS. Ain't nobody say shit. People would say how great the game was, but you know, 
I don't know, man. We're in a different time. We're in a different time. Um, Metacritic is something that's used as console war ammo. FPS. Well, resolution was used last generation at the beginning of the generation. Resolution was used as ammo ammunition frame rates uh you know so you know we'll talk about it man but it is what it is right it is what it is amazing neil with the two dirt shout out from boston massachusetts what's up neil thank you bro appreciate you fam from boston i've never been to boston man jay remember with the two i'm tired of these complaining ass cucks dirt yeah, Jay Rambo, I see you out there. You kind of like, bro, are y'all serious? <laughs> I, I be saying what you be saying, man. I be like, yo, Jay Rambo, this is like complaints. That's like at my job when my coworkers complained about the dumbest shit. We should complain about something that really, really, you know, like like Xbox putting their games in other places. That's That's something we should really, you know, go after. And you can have criticism about 30 FPS because I think most of us will want the game to be in 60 FPS 100%. But some of these guys, up, oh, oh, that's it. And then the, the damn ponies, MBG and, and, and Marlin Game and those guys, y'all love it. Y'all love that this game is in 30 FPS so y'all can quote unquote talk shit. But like I said, I always say this be careful. Because you don't know what your favorite platform is going to do. You don't. I will never say what Xbox would never do. I will never say Xbox ain't going to do this. Xbox is not going to do that. I will never say that. Because I don't know what they're going to do. So, ponies, be very careful. I know like y'all don't really use Unreal Engine 5, but be very careful what y'all say. Uh, I got you, Jay. Remember, though, Lonely the Black Mamba with the two. Show me a PS5 game on Unreal Engine 5 running 60 FPS. F ponies. Yeah, like I just said, they don't have any first party games running uh, uh, on Unreal Engine 5. So that I can think of. Fox Motor, thanks for the dollar, bro. Appreciate you, fam. Shout out to you. So, ugh, sorry, man. This hat is hot, man. Uh, it's gonna have a little glare. I try to keep the hat on for a second. The glare is there. Let me see if I can do it like this. Make it like a uh, still hot. That looks stupid. <laughs> the glare is there, y'all. The ray tracing is in full effect. Y'all see it. Well, anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get to the show. Let's start off. Ray Trace Dutt. Let's start off. Um, nine minutes. 30 seconds. <clears throat> Hellblade 2. Hellblade 2. Listen, y'all. Like I said, Hellblade 2 is something that looks incredible. If IGN is being positive, you like, damn, IGN is being positive? <laughs> I mean, they said these visuals look incredible. IGN Hellblade 2 is undeniably one of the most graphically impressive games I've ever played. Now, us as fans, we can just look at the game or, you know, on, on our PC or our phones or our TVs like, damn, this game looks sick. GameSpot says, I can't remember the last time a game left me so excited to play the full experience. Games Radar says, it's clearly on track to be one of the most important exclusives this generation. They said exclusives because it's still exclusive. I saw Pony saying, yeah, just wait till it come to the PS5. Well, if it come to the, to the damn PS5, what's your punk ass plan in between April, uh, uh, I'm sorry, May, and whenever it comes to the PS5? What you plan, ho? What, what are you playing? You going to wait for Hellblade 2 that long? Wait till it comes to the PS5. Polygon, I wasn't expecting to experience a next-gen moment when I played Hellblade 2, but I got one. There's nothing else quite like it. Now, in the 
the title of this podcast I had uh, is Hellblade 2, the best looking game ever. I think it is. And I haven't seen the game in his face, you know, like in, in real life yet. Not in his face, in, in real life yet. But just from the videos we've seen, the game looks absolutely incredible. So the question is, the question I want to ask you guys, three years into this generation, where wave cap? <laughs> Maybe. Three years into this generation, has there been one game, whether it's first party on PlayStation or Xbox or multi-platform, has there been one game that truly looked next generation? There's been a ton of games that look incredible. There's been a ton of games that look incredible, like Callisto Protocol look great. Alan Wake 2 look great. Um, you know, there's a lot of games that look great. But Hellblade 2 seems to be like the first true next generation games. Now, PlayStation games look great, right? But all of their games, with the exception of Spider-Man 2, and you can say, could Spider-Man 2 really be, <laughs> like have been on the PS4? Most people would say, yeah, probably. But all of their games were like PS4 games for the most part. I mean, you know, I think, what, Returnal? Ratchet and Clank, maybe? Spider-Man 2? But all the rest of their first-party games were PS4 games. So none of those games, while they look great, none of those games blew us away. Even on Xbox. No game blew us away. Well, I can't speak for y'all, but I'm speaking for myself. None of those games really blew me away. Graphically, right? Graphically, oh, yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> Ronan. <laughs> Ronan looks like a PS3 game. Yeah. So we're hearing that this is the first game that truly looks next generation. And I got to be honest, man. I'm I'm loving that. I'm loving that because this is the Xbox first party game, Ninja Theory. So apparently 80 people made this game. I thought it was 40 because at one time, Tamin said 40. Obviously, things change. He's not with the company anymore. And it's 80 people making Hellblade 2 that made Hellblade 2. Because I think the game's pretty much done at this point. So I don't know how this is going to run because, like I said, we're on the stream yard. But, um, yeah, man. You know, the game looks incredible. And this is the game that I feel is going to show the power of the uh, Xbox Series X. I know it's at 30 FPS. We'll we'll talk about that in a few. But this game looks incredible, man. And Ninja Theory is a talented development team. And just look at this shit, man. As Sean would say. I remember people was... Uh, concerned about the combat. Do you guys remember that? Well, how's the combat going to be? How come they ain't showing the combat? They scared. They said all of the fights are going to be kind of like one-on-one -on -one experiences. And I love it, man, because I, listen, I love the first, I, well, I didn't say, I, I didn't love the first game. I liked the first game because some parts were really slow, but this one seems to be, have much more action. Other people, other NPCs to interact with besides your damn self. And, and obviously, this game has a much bigger budget. I can't wait for it. And, and you know, this game is going to be awesome, man. Let me get a couple of these Super Chats before I continue. Alvin with the two. When 90 plus hits, we send the holes to the glue factory. Hey, remember, Alvin, it is the Xbox first party game now. <laughs> 90? Maybe. You know, they always take away five points because it's Xbox. Cult of Carl with the five. I think I'm just annoyed because most people saying bad things about the 30 FPS cap didn't play the first one or didn't like it. Just internet noise. That's all it is. That's all it is. Joker man with the two. Wear a wave cap. No waves, but it'll stop the glare. Yeah. I might be able to hear no wave cap on, though. Especially a bald head ass dude with a wave cap. <laughs> the angry therapist with the five. Is this the first console game running on Unreal Engine 5? PlayStation don't have one. No, there's been some third-party games running. I believe the Alan, no, Alan Wade used their own engine. Um, 
there's been some games running on uh on Real Engine 5. Oh, I think Banishers ran on Real Engine 5, I think. If I'm not mistaken, there's definitely um some games that run on Real Engine 5, but this is Ninja Theory. We remember what Insomniac said what a couple months ago. The photorealism on Hellblade is is how they want Wolverine to be. Or it's their goal. I I forgot exactly how they put it, their goal or some shit like that. Okay, so yeah, those are oh yeah, Robocop. Yeah, so there's been a bunch of games on Unreal Engine 5. New York Giant Man, remember for three months, the tides are turning. Dut. <laughs> they praising us and shitting on stellar cheeks. The top spot will be held and not lost. Hand, handheld will beat any game. Talk that shit, New York Giant Man. Listen, man, it's um, it was some nice positive Xbox news this morning. Then it turned negative. You know, people tried to turn it negative. The ponies always try. Um, you know, we heard about Tamim leaving. You know, I'm not sure if he left years ago because some people say that that he left years ago, like three years ago. Some people said he he left recently. So I don't know. I have no idea. Slim seventy three member for fifteen months. Pony boss kids so much, but now they choke on shit. Love it, love it, bro. Lonely little black mom with the five. If the media gives Hellblade a good score, I know what's up. They gave score. They score Xbox games that come from publishers. They bought lore. Remember this super chat. Interesting. What do you mean, like, like double fine? <laughs> uh, let me find the other thing I want to talk about. Um, where is it at? I think it was a Clobriel tweet I had. Um, damn it! Where the hell is that? There it is. So Clobriel put some stuff about the game. It says, let me share my screen again. Cinema Saga Hellblade 2 previews. Unreal Engine Visual Benchmark, possibly one of the best looking games ever. Absolutely. Fully mocap fighting system. Combat is one on one only, slow paced and very brutal. Uh, brutal. <laughs> Swinging your sword always feels heavy and impactful. A true next generation experience. 30 FPS on Xbox Series X and X S features industry leading by is it I can't read <laughs> by neural audio I can't read y'all overall a narrative linear action experience with very high production values focused on story and cinematic craft impactful combat and puzzles oh you had to block somebody huh so it's releasing May 21st 2024 uh let me tell you something this game is going to be a true next generation experience you saw what clobrio said the article he's uh, alluding to they said one of the best looking games ever ever and this is ninja theory so you know the game is going to play well also yeah i saw that dreamcast guy i'm tired of them pieces of shit you know then let me say this right quick because this is a it's so annoying, right? Because Tamin left, right? If, if you don't know, Tamin was the guy, I believe he was one of the original founders of Ninja Theory. One of the original founders. And of course he left, right? So let me find it. Um <laughs> let me pull this up. Hold on. He left. So hold on. Let me um let me make this a timestamp. Cause I'm gonna get back to Hellblade, but let me make this a timestamp. So to me, he, he was one of the original founders of Ninja Theory. And you guys know who I'm talking about. So after this incredible preview, a whole bunch of articles came out. Yeah, Tamin is leaving the studio. He's leaving the studio. And I remember like not seeing him in any of ninja theories video since like 2021 i'm like yo because like before he was always the spokesperson every time they talked to ninja theory he would be one of the guys talking i was like damn where's my man i can't remember his name where's my man where's my man so apparently 
he's left. Um, <laughs> so Gas said, I've been telling you guys, Tamin has been getting lit for the last three years. So a few people say he's been gone for three years. And that makes sense because I haven't seen him since 2021. So as you see, he having a damn good time. He having a good time. And people wondering, well, where did he leave? What? Let me tell you what he's doing. He's enjoying this stuff. He ain't worried about you. So you shouldn't be worried about him. He having a damn good time with the honeys. So they wanted to immediately twist it to negativity. The guy been gone for three years, apparently. Jazz was like, yo, dude got paid $162 million. Well, I don't know if he got $162 million, but he got a cut of that if, if he's an original founder of Ninja Theory. That was Photoshop. <laughs> nah, they're standing on him, bro. <laughs> they have their feet on him. That's not Photoshop, homie. <laughs> That's not Photoshop. They're standing on him. <laughs> Let me show it again. Uh, you can tell. Uh, that's the best Photoshop of all time. They're literally standing on him. On <laughs> He's standing on his head. This chick foot is on his arm. That's the best Photoshop ever. If, if No, that's real, bro. <laughs> My man's like, yo, he was like, fuck making video games. I got this money. I'm out. People are like, where is Tameen? Why did he leave the studio? He's enjoying himself and he ain't thinking about you. So stop thinking about him. Yeah. <laughs> I, yo, Texas, I know there ain't no Photoshop. That's real. See the man enjoying himself. <laughs> yo, I love it. Enjoy yourself, man. He got the bag. He bounced. But the his studio still making this game so they had they have the, like the studio is still the same size where well, they grew uh, slightly but they're still around 100 employees 80 people made hellblade 2 so that means 20 people might be doing something else obviously maybe working on project mara hellblade 2 is pretty much done i'm sure those people will go to project mara but what ninja theory is doing is showing you that you can make a triple a quality game or maybe on a double A budget. Now, obviously, I don't know what the budget is, but I believe they're showing that you can make a true next generation game on a double A budget. You know, the game is $50. The game is $50. And it looks like that. Bob McP said, Dirt, <laughs> if you have 120 million, are you going to leave YouTube? Uh, I like to do this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Probably. <laughs> no, but it's not. I'm not doing this for the money. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what up, j Rod? What up, Max City? Uh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me get these super chats. Uh, Ice Cold Cabbage with the five pounds. I realize if Xbox adds a 800p 60fps option, people will show the poor footage and mock the visuals. Only PS5 gets an 800p pass. Facts. What the hell did uh, Final Fantasy VII go to? That it was it was it, what well, it was running 45 frames, but the shit looked trash. I'm tired of this shit, man. Fox Motor with the two Colin words. Why buy Ninja Theory? Shut the hell up, you bum. Facts, bro. Gone mad with the five. I use anti judder on my TV and it helps tremendously with Starfield. I even play other games at 4K 30 TTS. Man, we're all different individuals, man. Some people might listen. If some people have no problem with 30, that's their prerogative. I've seen this as soon as somebody says, I don't have no problem with 30. You bot, you bot. <laughs> Bro, if they have no problem with 30, they have no problem with 30. And I told you guys, I didn't notice the difference 30, 60 until this generation. Last generation, I couldn't tell the damn difference. Maybe I wasn't paying attention enough. I don't know. It wasn't until the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. When they added the 60 FPS mode, I felt it. I said, oh, shit, I see it now. I see it now. Uh, thank you, Gone Matt. 
Max City with the five. These X thoughts, pony bots, and dog shit phony ponies are the worst. <laughs> All the unusuals are loving Hellblade too. Um, look amazing. Yeah, it does, man. It looks incredible. And like I said, this Ninja Theory, I'm pretty sure the game is going to play incredible too. Long live the Black Mamba with the two Hellblade two would change the industry. New PlayStation Pack. <laughs> yes, that's right, y'all. Have fun. That's why we have this echo chamber over here. Okay, people, the, you know, echo chamber dirt. You know, you know, go there, you know, cry and complain dirt. We got good positive. Xbox news today. People was crying about the lack of Hellblade coverage, me, uh, uh, marketing or whatever. And literally the next day, several previews drop. And the first thing people want to complain about is the 30 FPS to mean leaving. What's going on with Xbox? And I'm like, every time. Should it be discussed? Yeah, we should have a discussion. But then you see multiple videos. Dreamcast guy holding up a controller like this and shit. Oh shit. I unplug my camera. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> shit. I unplug my camera. Damn. Hold on. Uh my bad. <laughs> oh shit. Now my background messed up. <laughs> my background messed up. Oh man. I am a POS. There we go. There we go. Am I good, y'all? <laughs> am I good now? Yes, I'm good. I unplug my damn camera. My. <laughs> well, anyway, that's Detroit. <laughs> Venomous wiper. Well, well, I was trying to do this before I unplug my camera. Oh, this is a core right there. Anyway. You know, like Dreamcast guy, he's holding the damn controller. Ugly ass. Piece of trash. Venomous Viper, a member for 12 months. I can't wait to see Hellblade 2 on my 8K TV. Oh, shit. 8K. Nice, bro. Love it. Jay, remember with the five, I'm addicted to Batman Arkham uh, Knight and this 30 FPS. I prefer 60, but 30 FPS isn't the end of the world. People need to go touch some damn grass, man. It's not the end of the world. Like I said, most people prefer 60. It's nothing wrong with being disappointed. But you're just going to say, yeah, the game looks good, but I don't know. If FPS means that much, maybe you shouldn't be a console player. I know they promise, you know, uh, more 60 FPS games, and we have gotten more 60, F 60 FPS games. We've gotten 120 FPS game, something we didn't have at all last generation. But I'm hyped for Hellblade too, bro. I enjoy Starfield. People was enjoying Dragon, uh, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 a couple weeks ago. I don't know. Dragon's Blade with the two, I can't see the difference between 30 and 60. Like I said, I couldn't um, last generation, but I can now. I definitely can. Even when I was playing Banishers, I would play in quality mode. Then I would go to performance mode. I can definitely feel it. PK Thunderwall with the five. I seriously have a question for you and the rest of the chat. What YouTube influence or influence you to buy your console of choice? None of them. My homie influenced me to get an Xbox. The original Xbox. No YouTuber. And then I fell in love with it. Because like I always tell you guys, I was a PS2 guy. I don't hide nothing until I played that original Xbox and I started to bleed green, baby. The things that box could do, I was like, oh, my God. I was like, fuck the PS2. <laughs> I flipped. I completely flipped. I flipped from PS2. It, it was about 2003 to Xbox. I was like, yo, the PS2 was fired. Don't get me wrong. But something about that original Xbox, man. It just grabbed me like, yo, man, this is where you need to be. See, I'm pony body again. <laughs> don't start. Hey, don't start, E-Ranks. <laughs> don't even start it. j Rock said he went from Sega to Xbox. I went from Sega to the PS1 because I didn't want the Saturn. 
Then I went back to Sega with the Dreamcast. Then, of course, the Dreamcast died, so I went with PS2. PS2 to Xbox, and been bleeding greedy ever since. And don't even talk about when the Xbox 360 came out. Goodness. Goodness. Uh, the angry therapist with the two meth cast guy is a fraud. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, absolutely, man. G Myers with the five. Why is Kid Smooth complaining about marketing? Isn't he the marketing director? Yeah, that's what Sean. Listen, Sean named him Xbox marketing director. <laughs> so how? So 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 don't he know? Yeah, I don't know, man. Max City with the five. Ninja Theory changing game development setting. New standards about PlayStation selling. Uh, <laughs> fuck niggas soap <laughs> with the PS4 games at 60 FPS. I love it, Max City. Continue to teach you, yes, brother. Dreamcast to Xbox. Yeah, I went Dreamcast to PS2, then PS2 to Xbox. Um, so yeah, Ninja Theory uh is absolutely incredible, man. Like I said, the 30 FPS thing, you know, the 30 FPS thing, um, like I already said, there's not many, there's not much more I can say about it. We're all different people. Some people prefer you know 60 i believe most of us prefer 60 but like i said several times already this podcast joy is saying dragon's dogma 2 was the most recent game that's at 30 when they first announced that a couple people said oh that's 30 how dare they then i ain't hear shit else about it everybody's talked about how good the game was we have gotten to a point where a game looks good. The first thing we say is it running 60. This is the, like this is the console war that we're in. Last generation, the start of last generation. Nobody's talked about resolution. But because PS4 had the advantage with resolution over Xbox, resolution became a thing. Now, then nothing is wrong with preferring 60. We all have our own personal preferences. Absolutely, man. Some people might be disappointed, legit disappointed, and that's fine too. But if somebody that happens to be an Xbox fan isn't as bothered because Hellblade 2 runs at 30, that don't mean they're an extreme bot. Maybe they just don't care as much as you do. You ever think about that? I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Listen, and people say, Dirt, this is supposed to be the world's most powerful console. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Dragon's Dog went ran out the same thing on there. Ain't nobody say shit, though. GTA probably would be 30. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, man. If you prefer, some people might prefer 30. Yeah, yeah, people say he capping. Don't say I'm capping because I, you know, it doesn't bother me as much as you. If you pissed off, okay, you go ahead and do your YouTube videos about it. But if somebody in the chat in the in the comments uh, say it doesn't bother me, first thing I'm gonna say, are y'all capping because y'all bots? Y'all capping because y'all bots. PlayStation, all of their games is general. All them, them, their PS4 games. <laughs> with the exception of spider-man but most people say spider-man is a damn it looks like a ps4 game so listen man we all got our own preference this is all i'm saying bro that's all i'm saying people like pepperoni in a pizza people don't don't be mad at them because they don't like pepperoni in a pizza that's just what they like don't like you know i'm just i'm just tired of it man it's ridiculous all right, we're 35 minutes into the show, baby. <laughs> I'm not done yet. The homie J-Rock, see him in the chat. J-Rock, J-Rock was out there talking shit, y'all. Y'all know the homie J-Rock. <laughs> J-Rock had us a little scared for a second. Because, you know, he was kind of pissed off about certain things. But J-Rock ain't going nowhere, man. The homie uh, Next Gen Nero had brought this to my attention. As soon as that great Hellblade, those great Hellblade um, previews were shown, they run the Twitter spaces. 
Xbox 30 FPS Hellblade. Did they do Twitter Spaces about Dragon's Dogma too? I mean, maybe they did. Can anybody tell me that these N words do a, a, a Twitter Spaces on Dragon Dogmas too? Persona, Wapzilla, J. Bari, these other niggas. Did, did, did they do one? I, I don't know. Let me look in the chat. Nope. Nope. Sean, yeah, Sean Harris, I don't think they did. So is it about 30 FPS or is it about an Xbox game is running at 30 FPS? What is it really about? <laughs> I believe it's about an Xbox first party game running 30 FPS. It's not about 30 FPS. It's about an Xbox game running 30 FPS. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. <sighs> Damn. Damn. So like I said, the homie J-Rock, he was posting some shit. <laughs> oh, man. 30 FPS, $49.99. 60 FPS, $70. And who was this brought at the bottom? Who the hell is she? <laughs> who is she? <laughs> is she that's an NPC? Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the Xbox home was just talking shit. I like it, though. I like it. I like it. <laughs> he got more. He got more, though. J-Rock was on fire all morning, y'all. He was on fire all morning. 60 episodes. Look at that mess. Look at the mess on the left. Clay rocks. It has a performance mode. And I think that performance mode runs at what? Is it like 60 or is it like 45? But the the you know. We have performance mode. <laughs> Let me reiterate though. I think most of us would prefer if Hellblade 2 had at least an option for 60 FPS. Ninja Theory chose not to. Okay, let's move on, man. I don't think the Xbox Series X and S isn't, isn't capable of it. They just chose not to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just choose not to, man. All right. Uh, Super Chats. Filthy Wolf with the 10. Yo, Dirt. Queen Thrash Gaming made a video of you yesterday. Why that POS hate you so much? I watched this video and he acted like a clown. Hope you make a video of your haters. Man, listen. I hate him more than he hate me. Because he, listen, man, he, I'm okay with people doing content of me because I do console watch and I do content about other people. He kept it pretty much gaming because I watched most of it. As long as they keep it gaming on something I said, I don't have a problem with it. I have a problem with it when they take it to another place. And he still mentioned Roblox again yesterday. He said, nigga, 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 we, nigga, you play. Nigga, we are grown men. You are not in the Roblox chat room. He said it again. But like I said, if somebody make content on me, as long as they keep it where I, something I said about gaming, I have no problem with that because I don't attack people personally. I, you know, I go after them over something they said, not like, yo, man, your wife funny. Look at your daddy. This, you might, because I don't know them. He always takes it to another place, but he didn't do that yesterday unless I missed it because I didn't watch the whole hour and 18 minute video. <laughs> and you know, what he does that annoys the shit out of me. I would say something. I think there was a part where I said, Xbox put four first party games on their platform, on, on their competitors' platform. Need to stop. Nigga, 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 they are putting more games. Nigga, they are putting more games on their platform. You want like a 10 minute rant. Then the next line, I said, and I expect them to put more games on other platforms. He, it was a 13 minute video. He did an hour and 18 minutes. It was a 13 minute video, and he played a, a old podcast that I was on with him on my square punks. And then you go to the comment section. Yeah, dirty, dirty, idiot. He a dumbass dummy. He a dumbass bot. <laughs> they love that shit. So 
Look, man, I'm gonna take my time. See, I'm the one. I don't respond immediately. I just secure more and more ammo and wait for the perfect time. Just like I did with that ABK video. I had them, I had that shit stored up for like a year. There's no rush to respond. Because really, he ain't say shit. If you really want to be honest. He really didn't say shit. All he says, nigga, nigga, you stupid. Nigga, you look like Tay Diggs. Tay Diggs? Oh, just because he dark skin ball. Yeah, got, got it. <laughs> Same old stuff, man. Same old shit. But thank you, Filthy Wolf. Yeah, I knew. I knew about it. Like I said, I watched, I watched some of it. And it's like I said, his conversation is hilarious, man. Guys were saying, some guys were saying that I only started doing console war stuff because of Super Chess. I've been a bot, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's stupid. One Punch Jedi would defy. There are two things these ponies talk about. Hellblade 30 FPS, but in the same breath saying, I'll just wait for it to come to my PS5. By the way, I keep asking them for a date. Yeah, when is it coming to PS5, you assholes? And what are y'all going to be playing in between? Waiting for Hellblade 2. Because after Stellar Cheeks, what y'all went for? Silent Cheeks 2? Because that shit look Cheeks. Then after Silent Hill, then what y'all waiting for? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> PK Thunder World 5. The reason why I ask is because I'm really confused on why social media influencers think their opinions are going to sway people's views. Well, some social media people, they do sway people's views. If they have that big of an influence, they can sway people's uh, views. They can. I've seen it. I've seen it. Call Weed with the five. I see people like Doc claim his ally Ron Starfield better than the Xbox Series X. Not true. He is running it at 720p using F F S R3. It's not really 60. Yeah, I don't know all that technical shit, bro. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I just hope Xbox drops a uh, a damn um handheld. One punch Jedi with the five. By the way, Hellblade 2 at 30 FPS looks better than any 60 FPS game on PlayStation. Uh, that game the PlayStation made to this day is just it's an Xbox game at 30 FPS 100%. Like we said, these dudes did the Twitter spaces, they didn't do one for Dragon's Dogma or any, any other 30 FPS game we've had this generation. New York Giant Man with the 20 dirt folks killed me with this marketing BS. There's too many platforms, content creators, and videos that show what is coming up and release dates. No need for billboards and on every commercial. Shit sells itself. We're in a different time. I mean, it's cool to, you know, Times Square or like some of the big, big uh, cities with big billboards or something, you know, like in the movie theaters, you see a lot of commercials before the trailers. That's cool, man. But, you know, nowadays, a lot of advertising is on social media. 100%. But it's cool to see a billboard, you know, but that ain't the only type of marketing that happens nowadays. People act like it's still like 1998 where you market on billboards everywhere and that's the only marketing you have. No, there's plenty of other ways to market. Squiggly, remember for 15 months? Ricky Gervais said he loves it when people talk shit about him because it proves that he got to he got to them and affected them and he's won by doing nothing. It's a good point, man. Like I said, man, I'm not delusional. I'm not stupid. I do console war content. If somebody make a video about me, I'm not surprised as long as they keep it gaming. As long as I they they they're responding to something I've said in this platform. And he did that for the most part in this video yesterday. Like I said, I didn't listen to the whole thing because I can't listen to his shit like that. But he did that for the most part. He kept it what I said in the video. He wasn't making any sense, but for the most part, but he did still did throw that roadblock shit in there. And that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. This nigga beat Barry the Bunny. Fonzie the Fox or whatever the name of that damn game is, but he wanted to talk shit about me because my daughter played Roblox for an hour on my uh on my gamer tag. 
so hypocritical, bro. And I got receipts of that fight, uh, Field of Fox or uh, Gary the Plumber or whatever name that shit is. Blank nine sixty four with the five. If you ever run into King Thrash in real life, I got your bail money. Hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm gonna call you too. Robert Jr. with the five. PlayStation fanboys talking trash while getting third party. Xbox fanboys knowing Xbox One while waiting. There you go, bro. I agree, man. Max City Entertainment with the five. Kids News got around all them ponies and lost all Xbox credibility. I don't want to be a part of that boys club. Hashtag no diddy. Thrash is trash. There you go, bro. I love it. <laughs> Gary the Plum. What the name of that damn, them damn games be, bro, that he be playing? And he admitted it. I got the video of him admitting it. I be playing that shit on my Vita, nigga. Yeah, nigga. You look like Tay Diggs in the face. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you like Forrest Whitaker, nigga. All right, so that's it, y'all. Let's move on to this gear shit. Because uh, gears. Gears, guys. Year six. Gear six. Now, you know, my friend personally, like a guy I know at work, this fool has like 3,000 hours in Gears 5 because he plays horror. And I'm like, bro, you played it so much. Y'all y'all made it to level like wave 50. How like y'all still playing? He like, yeah, man, but we kind of get tired. I'm like, no shit. Y'all getting tired of it. Like, Dirk, when is the new one coming out? I said, I don't know, man. Maybe 2026? Maybe? He like, what? Two more years? I'm like, look, I don't know what to tell you. They're taking their time with this one. This one's going to be a monster. Gears 5 was made in three years. Just imagine how Gear 6 is going to be. So I got a couple of uh, things to show. Uh, so apparently Jeff Grubb. Who, you know what? I got to be honest, man. I think Jeff Grubb is a real insider with real information. I know a, a lot of people attacked him last year when he said Hi-Fi Rush didn't sell well. And let's be honest, it, it, it didn't. It didn't. We tried to damage control it, but it didn't. I know Aaron Greenberg said it did well for them, but it didn't. And I think it was because of the shallow drop, you know, shit like that. Great game, though. Great game. So. Jeff Grubb seems to know stuff. He knows PlayStation news. He knows Xbox news. And he said, um, Gear 6 will be shown this year, this summer. Now, of course, most of us kind of predicted that. We said it's about time for them to show that. But he said, I heard some stuff with Gear 6 might be happening this summer, says Grubb on the X-Cast show. I, I listened to that show. It was actually a pretty good show. So, Gears... <laughs> Let me show you something else. A couple of uh, insiders put some stuff on. I don't know what site is this. I don't know what site it is. But Nate the Hate, who is another guy that knows some stuff. And some other people, listen, let's be real. Sometimes these guys that know stuff, we might not like what they say if it's negative by Xbox, but some, sometimes these guys know some stuff. Nate the Hate was the one. He said Starfield was going to PS5. Uh, then, like a week later, he said, nah, it's not going to PS5. Maybe it was at one point. Maybe it still is in the future. Who knows? But he knows some stuff. I'm not saying he's always right, but he knows some stuff. Nate the Hate. This is Nate the Hate, y'all. It says Nate Drake, but this is Nate the Hate. Um, he said, because like somebody asked him, is Gear 6 coming this gen or the next gen? Nate said, this gen. Very few games have delivered that next-gen moment, this gen, as we had an exceptionally long cross-gen period. Much like Gears 1 was the moment on Xbox 360, so should Gears 6 be for Xbox Series. Listen, y'all. All of us in here, we're adults. We're adults. I'm older than a lot of you guys. Some of you guys are older than me. Some of you guys are younger, obviously. Gears 6, I'm sorry, let me take that back. Gears of War, the original, was the best-looking game I've seen at that time. At that time, 
when that game came out, I've never seen the game look as good as that game. I told this story a few weeks ago. My brother-in-law happened to come over my house when I was playing Gears, and he said, damn, what is that? And he's like a casual game. He'll play like some, you know, some 2K or something. He's like, damn, what is that? That look fire. Say, like, oh, this Xbox 360, Gears of War, baby. That game did just that much. Shinobi, of course, you know, if you're on Twitter, you know he's the insider with good information. Somebody's talking about Hellblade. They said, those are some beautiful screenshots. Such a, such a stunning looking game. He said, wait until you see Gears. <laughs> People aren't ready. Yeah. Gears is going to be serious, y'all. Gears is going to be serious. And apparently we're going to see it this summer. Apparently we're going to see it this summer, y'all. <laughs> He's Tim Dog's best friend. <laughs> Shinobi, I think he prefers PlayStation, but I don't care if a guy prefers PlayStation. I just want the guy to be fair as he can be. Yeah, so Gears is going to be an absolute benchmark, y'all. Remember, like I just mentioned, they did Gears 4. They bought uh the well, not well, ain't by the coalition. They was Black Tusk. They bought the Gears of Wars IP in 2014. Remember that. Then I remember in E3 2015, they showed Gears to close the show. I was like, damn, they did that already in a year? Remember, it was dark, but the game had looked great. I was like, that looked fire. And then the 2016 Gears came out. Gears 4 came out. I like Gears 4. People say it was more of the same. Yeah, it was, but it was fire. Gears 4 was dope. They did that game in two years. Then the Coalition, three years, Gears 5 come out. Gears 5 was dope. Then they're kind of like, okay, yeah, they were Black Tusk first. Then it's like 2019. So it's like, are they doing Gear 6? We heard they were doing another project. And then that got canceled. Then now they're focusing fully on Gear 6. And I remember there was somebody, I believe it was a contractor, maybe a year or two ago. He was he left um working on the game. He said, Yo, the coalition is working on something special. We all know Digital Foundry called the Coalition the masters of Unreal Engine. And Unreal Engine 5, they're using this game in Unreal Engine 5. So, what do you guys think about this? Gears, I was watching, oh man, a, a, a wrestling show the other day. What culture wrestling? They were talking about Monday Night Raw, blah, blah, blah. And, and the guy made a joke when The Rock said something something to Cody Rhodes, and the guy said he whispered to Cody Rhodes, when is the next Gears of War coming out? I was like, oh shit, look at that. And he's a British guy, you know, UK, you know, they don't rock with Xbox like that in the UK. But he said, when is the next Gears of War coming out? And I said, yo, people are waiting. Because, like, do you remember people said, yo, let's, let us miss Gears. Let us miss it, damn it. And I, I even said that, okay, let us miss Forza Horizon a little bit, and let us miss Gears. Okay. It's been five years now. We're ready for Gears again. We're ready for Gears again. I am. I can't speak for y'all. I'm ready for Gears. <laughs> 100%. I am ready for Gears now. Um. Yes. Simon Miller. Thank you, Jacob J. I see you watching too. Yeah, that was who said it. Simon Miller. Funny guy. I like that channel. It's time, man. And with all of this negative Xbox news that's been happening this year it started off pretty good <coughs> excuse me with the xbox developers direct knowing that indiana jones is dropping this year you think gears collection is it no nah, i think they're showing gear six bro i think they're showing gear six this year and i hope i hope they show some gameplay most people think they're gonna have a hell of a an e3 and they gotta close with gear six Listen, man, Gears is a franchise that was one of the staples of, of Xbox. Oh, you think they're going to show both C-Money? Hey, what's up, C-Money? How you doing, bro? You think they're going to show both? That would be dope. But think about the billion-dollar franchises that Xbox has. They have Halo. They have uh, Forza. Now they have, you know, some other ones, uh, you know, with the acquisitions they have. But as far as the originals, Gears is one of them, man. 
Gears is one of them. The Xbox 360, Gears made Xbox cool, bro. It made it cool. Now, I know we already had Halo. But Halo didn't have that violence that Gears had. The Chainsaw Lancer. You know, Gears is that game, bro. They did a gear. They did. How many gears in the Xbox 360 generation? If you count Judgment, it was four. Xbox One generation, if you count Gears Ultimate Edition, it was three, which, you know, you shouldn't count that. that it was just a remake. But they did four and five. So, yes. Now, some people ask the question, will they do it and drop it for, you know, next generation? But Nate the Hate already said, no, they're dropping it for this generation. But of course, you know, the game's going to play, like, be able to play both. Uh, Bunty Mine, member for 25 months. You know, I'm not far, Dutch. Just do the car. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I mean, you were Indiana, right? Yeah, not far at all, bro. <laughs> Dolan Knight, member for nine months. King Thrash, look like Beetlejuice from the Howard Stern Show. Hey, I used to love Beetlejuice, man. <laughs> from Howard Stern Show, I used to love Beetlejuice, bro. Boss Red 77 with the five. I'm gonna get Stellar Blade once it hits the PlayStation P Hub Special Collector's Edition. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stellar Blade. Uh, I haven't even played that demo. I, I downloaded it, I haven't played it yet. Shy uh Shy Socks Forever. Thank you for becoming a member. Shy Town. My ex-wife from Shy Town, man. But she lives in Michigan now. Bone Slave with the five. Where was that energy when Dreamcast went away? All those games were 60 FPS. It's all fake outrage. Yeah, man. I mean, it's just a different time, man. You know, people can can say what they want to say online. People didn't care about that shit back in the day. They really didn't. They really didn't. Because we didn't know. Unless we being told, bro. Maybe PC guys know, but console games, we didn't know. Resolution, FPS, we didn't know, bro. Nor did we care. But it's just a different time. Eternal Sadai with the 20. What's going on, Dirty? This upcoming Monday, the 8th, are you really unleashing your fear of you by creating Eclipse to the world? Gears. Rob Ferguson, move, remove the word uh, war in Gears. Do you think the new leadership will bring it back? I think they should bring it back. I mean, Gears 5 was okay, but I think it should be called Gears of War. This is my, this is my opinion. You P.O.S. Brian B with the five duds. Did you see King's April Fool joke saying you were replacing him on Lords? I did not see that. No, <laughs> are you serious? When did he say that? <laughs> oh, I guess April Fool's. I didn't. I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that at all. What was on his like his show or? I didn't see that. Unless you're joking. Are you serious? Did he say that's funny? <laughs> They'd be like, yo, no, no king, no view. We out of here. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Gears of War is um it's gonna be something, man. A lot of people talking about it, saying it's gonna be a game changer. I believe Phil Spencer, man. Th listen, this is just me talking. I believe Phil Spencer. Oh, you in Toledo? Damn, bro. I'll be in Toledo all the time. I didn't know you was that close. <laughs> I'm I'll be in Toledo all the time, fam. Um, um, I believe Phil Spencer knows what they have. Of course, he knows what they have brewing. I believe he is confident in the future. He's confident in what they have. And he knows it's going to make people say, damn, okay, Xbox. Okay, we see you. We see you. And when these games start dropping... I know the narrative will be, well, when they come to the PlayStation, we already saw it today. When they come to the PlayStation, when they come to the PlayStation, when they come to the PlayStation. Who knows? Maybe never. Maybe some might come. Maybe some might, might not never come. But at the end of the day, for years, y'all said they had no games. And they have games now. Then y'all went to know where well, the first four months they ain't got no games. Then they went to uh, the where's the marketing? It's always a goalpost moving some some somehow some way. But Gear Six is coming. The showcase is coming. 
remember, didn't Matt Booty, because I heard Paris say this, didn't Matt Booty say sometime last year that they probably could have showed Perfect Dark last year? That's what Paris said. And I'm trying to remember, because I do remember Matt Booty mentioning Perfect Dark on that Giant Bomb interview. He said something about they could have showed that game last year. So much content. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Xbox ain't releasing the game in the last 30 days. Xbox is dead. I'm still, these ponies are still so arrogant, man. They're so arrogant. They think that everything is fine. Jeff Grubb said something about the future. He said, Xbox knows what direction they want to head for the most part. He, he mentioned PlayStation. Ain't really sure what they want to do. Watch that uh, kind of funny interview with Jeff Grubb. He said PlayStation, they're not really sure about their strategy. What is their strategy for the future? Nobody want to talk about it. Xbox always the first ones to do things, right? And most of the time, it, it doesn't work out for them, for the most part. That sometimes it did work out for them, like with the Xbox, the the broadband, the Ethernet cable. That shit worked out for them. The Xbox 360, the hard drive for you know a detachable hard drive for a console that worked out for them. But other things didn't work, like DRM. That didn't work out for them. You know some of the other things, but we'll see what happened, man. I'm just excited about the future. I'm sorry. All you pony bots and you haters. Y'all say dirt green. Y'all gonna clip to say dirt green is a delusional bot. Dirt green, nigga, you nigga, you don't, you stupid. <laughs> he like you'll do another two hour video about me. Nigga, you nigga, look, look at his beard, nigga. His beard don't look right. Focus. Bunty said, I'm a Toledo. Yeah, Toledo, man. My daughter went to uh university of toledo bro <laughs> how was it toledo all the time man call weed with the five what irritate me is the people claiming 30 gives them headaches and nausea now stop it i got a monster pc for games i care about fps and top visuals get a pc man if 30 is unplayable for you on console get a pc Time maker man with the five dut ponies are saying Hellblade Two is going to run better on their PlayStation when they don't know that bitch when they know that bitch can't handle it. Yeah, I saw them running out there saying they going. Yeah, wait till it come on PlayStation. When is it coming? Was it released? What like was it a release date on PlayStation? Because Xbox release date is May twenty first. When is it coming to PlayStation? Because I did y'all hear an announcement? I didn't hear one. They turn us to the fire. Stellar Blade looks like Gun Valkyrie from OG Xbox, but as a samurai. I remember that game, but I never played it, bro. Never played it. But I definitely remember the game. <laughs> Who told me it was coming to PlayStation? They, man, like they're just assuming every game going to PlayStation. They just assuming it right now. We are hour in, y'all. An hour in. Listen, man, that was some um PS5 Pro news I want to talk about right quick. Let me let me pull it up before I do the timestamp. There was some PS5 Pro news. Hey, I, I didn't see many people talking about it, man. Maybe because it's just rumors, but every but we always talk about rumors, right? They was talking about rumors with the Xbox, all their games going first, uh third party. They were talking about that, and that was just a rumor. But when PlayStation has a negative room, they don't want to talk about that, though. 105. 30. All right. The PS5 Pro. We'll talk about this real quick. Then we're going to talk about some more PlayStation shit. How Spider-Man 2 was not one of the, <laughs> the most of the, most of the uh, uh, monthly active user games. But, you know, we'll talk about that in a few. Rhino the Bouncer. Info, rumors, PS5 Pro has been designed to provide developers with easy and economical ways to enhance games. Look at this. PS5 Pro can't, can't 
be much more powerful than the base PS5. Hmm. Okay. Let me read that again. PS5 Pro can't be much more powerful than the base PS5. All right. Games made for PS5 are already budgeted and cannot be significantly scaled up. Hmm. Okay. PSSR, which is PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, will solve that problem, allowing devs to upgrade in an easy and economical way. Okay. Sony is quite likely in talks with studios about PS6, and several PS6 launch titles are quite likely to be in the works. Sources WCCF Tech. Hmm. How come ain't nobody talking about this? How come ain't nobody talking about the <laughs> what's the purpose of this damn console? PS5 Pro can be much more powerful than the base PS5. Okay. What's the purpose of it then? The Xbox One X went from, what was the Xbox One? 1. 1.3 teraflops? It went to 6? That's a big boost. Xbox One games were running in 900p, 720p, went up to 4K for most of them, some of them. <coughs> Games made for PS5 are already budgeted and cannot be significantly scaled up. But super resolution. Carl Weeb, doesn't Xbox have super resolution? Now, I'm not the tech guy. I know Carl Weeb is in here. Can you tell me? <laughs> PK thought it was said, Darren, I'm falling asleep here. I'm just saying, man. How, why ain't nobody talking about this, yo? That's the biggest waste of <laughs> I don't know, man. Tell me what's what's going on because I ain't see nobody talk about this. The WCCF tech, Moore's Law is dead, is the same guy that said the PS5 Pro specs. And Tom Henderson said, yeah, they're true. And everybody went dark shit crazy. Oh, the PS5 Pro will be 88 teraflops. There's going to be 88 teraflops, y'all. Bullshit. All right. I'm falling asleep, too. Let me move on. Fuck the PS5 Pro. I'm falling asleep my damn self. <laughs> PK Thunder. <laughs> oh, man. See, I'm falling asleep on this crap. All right, y'all. Last thing I want to talk about. Let me get the Super Chats first. Mo D. Lagarza with Defy Gaming both said this game is probably going to be game of the year and it should be on more consoles than Xbox. Port begging ass. Did they say that? How come they don't ever say that about PlayStation exclusives? How come they don't say it about PlayStation exclusives? Oh, God of War, right now, that should be on more consoles. <sighs> Brian B. with Defy, he did a whole video about how he got hired by Microsoft and had to leave the Lords. That you was taking this spot. No, that's funny. I got to look at that. I did not even know that, bro. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. there's There was some more news that came out. About 2023 and monthly active users. Let me share my screen again, y'all. Thank you for rocking out with me. Thank you for being here. Can you guys see this good enough? If not, I will definitely say what I'm looking at. Games ranking in the top 10 by average monthly active users over seven years old on average and, general, and generally fall into one of the four categories. So first thing they're saying is that old games are the most played of 2023. Old games. Only Starfield fits in the middle on consoles. Starfield was the only new game that was actually played a lot last year. But as you see, PlayStation and Xbox, Fortnite, Call of Duty, GTA, Minecraft, FIFA, Roblox, same games except for Starfield 
is an Xbox list of monthly active users. Fall Guys is on PlayStation list. Apex. Didn't Spider-Man release last year? Spider-Man 2? Didn't Spider-Man 2 release last year, y'all? Oh, okay. I guess because it's not a, a big game, I guess. It's not long, you know, it's only like 16, 17 hours. But damn, they ain't said it's so like 10 million. Wow. If you look at PlayStation lists, Fortnite, GTA 5, Call of Duty, Xbox owned, EA Sports FC 24, Roblox, Rocket League, Minecraft, Xbox owned. Tom's Clancy, Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six still around, though. That's pretty dope. Apex Legends, Fall Guys. Do you guys understand how much money these games, these type of games make, these games as a service? Grand Theft Auto V is still in there. <laughs> this game came out of 2013. The game is still in there. But why are there no PlayStation first-party games? You look at Nintendo... Of course, Nintendo first party game. Nobody buys a Nintendo for third party, though, to be honest. So, of course, their first party games is all in here with a few multi platform games. PC, of course, they're all pretty much, you know, like the same games. But why are no PlayStation exclusives in there? Spider Man 2 is the biggest game of the year. Well, that's what they told us, right? Is it because it wasn't on PC? Well, Pony's mad that PlayStation is putting their games on PC. Top 10 games by average monthly active users in 2023. How is it two Xbox-owned IPs in there? I'm going to tell you what's not going to be in the top 10 MAUs in 2024. I'm going to tell you that none of those punk ass third third party <laughs> exclusives they made the first half of the year. Those games ain't going to be in there either. Next year going to be the same shit. Some Xbox exclusives while some Xbox first party games going to be in there. Starfield, the game they said was a failure. It's in there with all of those monsters. It's above Apex Legends. It's above FIFA. Rocket League is still in there. That game been out since, what, 2014? I forgot about Rocket League. Minecraft. Fortnite is the monster, bro. Call of Duty, a monster. Where is Sony's first party games in this list? Just admit it, y'all. Just admit. PlayStation guys, listen. I know you're listening. Because y'all probably trying to clip it and send it to Keith. Dirt said this about you. Dirt said this. Dirt said you look like Forrest Whitaker. Clip this and tell him, where is Spider-Man 2? Where are the bangers you guys have? Y'all so happy about Xbox putting four of their games on, on PlayStation. Y'all forgetting... That, X, that PlayStation ain't got no damn games. Or the few games they do have, y'all don't buy them. Or if y'all do buy y'all buy them in the bundle and didn't play them. The casuals, the casuals buy the PS5. And that's fine. I'm not hating on that. But you guys might need to shut the hell up. This ain't the PS4 generation anymore. This ain't 2018 anymore. Y'all ain't got those bangers dropping in 2018. Y'all better hope in PlayStation Showcase they showed the like Ghost of Tsushima 2. I'm just saying, man. Nah, Joey, that's 2023. Hell Divers 2, that will probably be on there. Okay, you're right. Hell Divers 2 will be on the 2024 list. That game will be on there. They <laughs> said baby steps. PK Thunder World with the 2. Do you consider PC gamers as casual gamers? No. They might play some casual games, but I don't consider them casual gamers. I listen, 
PC gamers, you got to go through a whole, a whole bunch of shit to play on PC. So, no, they're not casuals. To me, a casual was like my father. I bought him an Xbox Series S. Well, I didn't buy it for him. I actually gave him my old one, my white one. I bought the black one. Gave it to him. Gave him an Xbox uh, Game Pass. He has MLB The Show and Madden. Those are the two games he play every year. And I buy them. Well, MLB The Show is in Game Pass, but Madden, I usually buy him Madden. He's a casual. Those are the casuals, the kids that play Fortnite, Call of Duty. You know the casual games. Fortnite, Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Minecraft, um, you know, FIFA. Those sports games. Those are the casual games. And it's okay. It's okay. So I just wanted to show you guys that all this stuff they be talking, the hardcore cannot carry the PlayStation brand alone. King Thrash and his minions cannot carry the PlayStation brand alone. They can't. Same thing with Xbox. Nintendo fans can <laughs> because they are the fan base. Because the kids are the same as the adults when it comes to Nintendo. They all won. Nintendo games be selling like 40 million and shit on the Switch. But when it comes to Xbox and PlayStation, the hardcore cannot carry those consoles. They need the casuals. But at the same time, shut y'all stupid asses up talking about the casuals. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, console sale. The it, the exclusives are the most important part of the of the PlayStation. When Spider Man Two, one of their biggest exclusives, did not make the top ten monthly active users list. Now I know what y'all said. Dirty, dirty. It's a single player game. Starfield on there. Starfield made the cut. Well, dirt, dirt, it's on PC too. Well, maybe y'all need to realize PlayStation is doing right by putting their games on PC then. Hey, y'all doing good. I ain't even get a chance to see these ponies in here. DX ponies. Get your punk ass out here. Who am you? Who am your ass? Who am you, nigga? Get on out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to be an a-hole. I'm just trying to be, be honest about it, man. Y'all talked about these exclusives and, and, and why people buy PS5s for exclusives. And the majority... Doesn't they the PS5 is the casual console and and like I keep on saying that's fine. Yeah, Brian B, get these likes up. That's fine, man. It's okay. The casuals chose the PS5. I'm sure Xbox wanted them to choose the Xbox Series S. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. They chose the PS5, and the PS5 people love the PS5, and they play the same games. Yeah, yeah, my sniper's like, I know there's going to be a bunch of ponies coming in here talking about 30 FPS. Get all y'all asses out of here, man. Because y'all ain't got a game that look like Hellblade 2. Do you? <laughs> Makai, he said get the likes up, not the lights, you asshole. <laughs> That's kind of funny, ass. <laughs> She wasn't funny. <laughs> uh, PK Thunderwall with the two. Who has a bigger install base, PC or mobile? I think mobile. Because everybody got a phone, <laughs> right? 12 year olds got a phone, play uh, Candy Crush or whatever. I believe it's mobile. Hey, hey, yo. OG newbie, what the hell happened to Ronin? Rising Ronin? Didn't that shit come out like a couple weeks ago? What happened? We know phone stars died immediately. 
Hail Divers 2 was a success. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, we still ain't got them numbers, y'all. Hey, Frog Boy is a PC guy. Go play it on PC and shut up. <laughs> Go play it on PC and shut the hell up, man. <laughs> Foam starts running 60. It should run at 60. <laughs> hey, a miss at her rise are running there pretty well on PS3. <laughs> right, so. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, we haven't gotten those numbers, man. Where are those numbers? PlayStation love to talk about numbers, even for their third-party exclusives. We ain't heard nothing. The last thing I heard is the second week the game was out in Japan, it dropped 90%. That's the last thing I heard. I don't know where we're going to hear these numbers. I just don't know. 2.5 million? What? Final Fantasy Seven rebirth. I don't know. Guess we'll see. Now we have Rise of Rona came out after Final Fantasy Seven. Yes, Far Boy was a guest on WBT. He was the worst guest we ever had, bro. He was vaping <laughs> without muting his mic. I'll be talking. I'm like, yeah. So you know, then they hear, like, what the fuck, bro? Can you mute your mic? <laughs> what the hell? was like bro is he serious that's when i was in the point of trying to get smaller youtubers to come onto the show give them a shout out he was a nice guy you know but come on man come on bro <laughs> uh makai with the fire i joke dirt you are the light of the xbox community Thank you, sir. But that shit hurt my feelings. Joe Dunmore with the five. Dut, I didn't know you were going on tour. There's a solar eclipse on Monday. Joe Dunmore, you asshole. That ain't funny. Hey, man, back when, <laughs> back when I was in high school, I used to actually call myself Eclipse. I used to try to rap, and I was trash. Trash-ass rapper. Hey, y'all heard that POS song, right? You a POS? So anyway, I'm about to get out of here, man. Um, I had a fun show today, man. We had some pretty good topics. Hellblade looked, <laughs> Hellblade looked incredible. Um, the future of Xbox. Don't forget Indiana Jones dropped this year, y'all. Hellblade two drop. Indiana Jones drop. Avowed drop. Tim Dog said Avowed is going to be uh delayed. It's possible, I guess. I guess it's possible. I'm trying to get a Tim Dog impression. I know some people said I did it last week. I don't know how the hell I did it. I just did it. I'm not Zach Randolph Scorpio. I can't. How did I do it? Um, I don't know how I did it. I just got it. It's got to come out, man. I don't know how to do it, bro. Um, but yeah. So that's about it, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you again for rocking out with me. Brian B with the two said, I didn't know shadows have feelings. I don't appreciate that, Brian. I really don't. That's not nice. Okay. PK Thunder Wall with the 10. I see a future where Xbox, the Xbox is a hybrid of PC and mobile. It's one thing to have access to PC gaming, but it'll be huge if the next Xbox has access to mobile games. It's interesting, man. I believe Xbox understands that it's just not about consoles anymore. I think everybody, I think. PlayStation knows that too. I think they know that also. Um, that's why they're putting their games on PC. 100 <laughs> percent Hey, Dota Knight, they threw my demo on the trash. I went up to Ludacris. I was like, hey man, you want to take my tape, man? Hey man, tell me you ain't do this shit, man. Tell me you ain't throw this shit in the trash, man. <laughs> hey, what movie is that? <laughs> Uh, OG newbie with the two mid of Ronan is game of the year. If you if we were in 2011, <laughs> facts, bro. Uh, you know, th like there's been a lot of conversation about consoles not growing. You know, um, from the PS2 generation to now, they can be. You know, it's pretty much in the same area. And <laughs> when I said that on, on that video, King Thras is watching. 
He said, nigga, what do you mean? Nigga, what do you mean consoles are not growing, nigga? Are you stupid, nigga? Consoles are growing, nigga. They, I'm like, okay. Where? Nigga, if you, if you, nigga, let me do math, nigga. Hold on, nigga. If you, if you compare the Nintendo GameCube to the Nintendo Wii, nigga, it, it, it's so way more. Like, bro, the consoles industry is not growing. They're selling it to the same people. No, nigga, you don't know math. They're not growing. I'm telling you, bro. All you got to do, and then something with Phil Spencer say, but the previous week, guys like Sean Layden said, or Hiroki Totoki said the same thing, but they want to focus on what Phil Spencer said to call him a liar. That's why y'all in third place. Nigga. That's why y'all in third place. Nigga, I do not, nigga. I do. <laughs> That's like, come on, bro. Come on, man. All right. See, I can't imitate Marlon. He, he's just corny, bro. Marlon is corny. Dirk Diddy, you better, hey, you better take that shit back, Makai. You better take it back, damn it. All right, y'all about to go. <laughs> oh, Dirk Diddy. Hey, hey, Blaze, man, that shit ain't funny. Blaze Reed, Reed Jenkins, it ain't funny. <laughs> it's a rap. It's a rap. I don't know how to do it. I don't, I don't know, bro. Yeah, but all I heard is him and um him and um, you know, yeah, yo, 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 walk. I have two Xbox. I got an X and an S. Moose said he got three Xboxes. For what? I have no idea. Cookie Monster. Yeah, me. <laughs> Marlon Game did the Cookie Monster that one time, didn't he? Yum, 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 yum. You cookie. That shit so corny, man. Some lame ass dudes. Don't call me no P. Gritty. About to go, man. Y'all ain't about to start insulting me. Call me no damn. <laughs> Dirk, Dirk Diddy. What you call me? P. Griggity. No. Eclipse Cone. See, see, Crispy Rambo. See? That's it, man. I'm not dealing with this shit no more. Call me no diggity diggity. Yeah, diggity diggity or P. P. Griggity. Or Ahmed Johnson. Primo Drake. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like the party, bro. Tris, I don't be having parties. Dragon's Blade said, I'm an Xbox until until it or I die. Damn, you take that shit serious, Dragon Blade, but talk that shit, bro. We Xbox up in here. Bonzi Wells. He, man, he wasn't even dark skin. All right, see you guys tomorrow. TTS, I believe, is at 1 o'clock p.m. <laughs> Meat Thrash and P. Griggity. <laughs> Stop it, bro. Stop it. <laughs> E-Rank, stop it. Stop it, man. Peace out, P-Dirt. Listen, man. Y'all better stop. I ain't having no damn P-Diddy parties. <sighs> Show no damn respect. I said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Once again, Hellblade 2 looks incredible. I'm still excited for the future of Xbox. I don't give a damn what nobody says. Um, I believe Xbox is, they're going nowhere as far as gaming. They're they are here. Tony Snail, I'll be there. So remember that. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. I don't give a fuck what I said, nigga. I did not mean to play that. <laughs> I swear I didn't. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I didn't mean to play that either. Sorry, y'all. Oh, shit. I really didn't mean to play that. My bad, y'all. I'm about to get out of here. Somebody woke a sleeping giant. <laughs> now just give us that 390. How can Mooch be so right and then flip and turn into a piece of shit? Hmm. I don't know. All right. I'm just talking shit now. Peace out, y'all.
Appreciate you guys. What the hell is the outro? Hey, I'm going to tell you, y'all old as hell. Amit called me Elton Campbell. G-Mice, you called me Kevin Willis. Y'all are old. Those NBA players that played in the 80s and the 90s, y'all old asses. It's a damn shame. Y'all older than me. Pieces of trash. Nigga!